At Indianapolis's Victory Field, the Durham Bulls play baseball against the Indianapolis Indians. Coaching first base for Durham is their hitting coach and former major leaguer, Gary Gaetti. He played 20 seasons in the big leagues, but before his professional career began, Gary Gaetti was a Northwest Bearcat. He was really the only college that recruited me for baseball. Illinois State asked me about football. Pretty good program at Lakeland Junior College and then uh, uh, was able to transfer back to Northwest and play my junior year and, and, uh, and then I got drafted after that. No, I guess on a sad note, you know, the game that we lost my junior year to uh, not advance to the regionals, uh, South, Southwest Missouri State beat us in a, in a double elimination tournament on, a, on the air and uh, it was just really sad because we felt like we had the best team and yet we didn't play the best game. but. Uh, we felt like we should have won. Uh, I remember getting a phone call from my wife when I was working one night, and she said, you were drafted by the Twins. Picked in the first round of the baseball draft, Gaetti made his Major League debut with the Minnesota Twins in 1981. Six years later, he led the team to a World Series championship over the team he grew up watching as a child, the St. Louis Cardinals. It was a lot of irony. Okay. It really was. Um, to just be back playing a game in Bush Stadium. I mean, I'd grown up watching games there, you know, and, and um, I mean, at the time, you're all wrapped up in your league and your team and all that kind of stuff, and you're just, you're kind of watching toward the end of the season what's going on, and, and um, I guess even some of that is lost in the shuffle of just this, the, how special it was for me to be in Bush Stadium playing against the team I grew up watching in a World Series. Yeah. But the competition was pretty intense, you know, and it was, that was more prevalent to me than the, f you know, warm fuzzy moments about being back in Bush Stadium, you know, so, I mean, it was, a, it was a real competition and I wanted to win really bad, so, but it was, it was great. I mean, that was really special. Uh, right before the last out of the World Series, it was like, I felt like it was so loud in there and it was so unreal the, the actual feeling that you had, I, it's almost like I could picture myself sitting in the left field stands watching this whole thing happen. You know what I'm saying? It was, a, I guess, as close to out of body experience as you would have. You know what I'm saying? It was just really just surreal with the noise and just the anticipation and trying to keep everything in check and reacting to the, you know, the play and stuff. And then after the play was made, it was just pandemonium on the field. I mean, it was just, we were just all over each other, just jumping and hugging and just screaming. And I mean, the, I guess the overall feeling was like, the best part about it was just being able to just say, I mean, in a much more excited manner, we did it, yeah. you know, we did it. Gaetti went on to play for the California Angels and Kansas City Royals, but then in 1996, he returned to Bush Stadium to play for the Cardinals. I got a phone call. Um, the Royals were not really trying, they, they tried to sign me and didn't really try to sign me and didn't really make it worth my while after the last three years that I'd had over there. <clears throat> and uh, Tony La Russa called me and asked me, uh, you know, if I'd want to be a member of the St. Louis Cardinals. And it was exciting. You know, I was like, yeah, I think so. And actually the Twins had called me too and asked me if I could still play. <laughs> you know, but the, uh, the dollar amounts were, you know, much better with the Cardinals. And, you know, that was probably too good for me to turn down. Even, even if everything would have been equal, I think I would have made my choice to go to St. Louis just because that's it's like a childhood dream come true. Later that year, Bulls catcher Mike DeFelice was called up to the big leagues, and he got to play alongside Gary Gaetti as a rookie. You know, he was a true professional, and now as a coach, you know, he, he brings that same, that same professionalism that he had as a player for a long time, and he's bringing into his coaching career, and he's pretty much the same guy. I mean, this, this guy knows the game of baseball. I mean, he knows how it is to be a professional. You know, you don't under... You know, he, he takes that, uh, you know, a guy that's been in the game that long takes pride in, in, in what it meant to be a baseball player and a, and a professional. And, uh, you know, so when it, 
You know, when you cross the line, you know, you're not going to get any sympathy from Gary Gaetti. The Cardinals return to the postseason for the first time in nine years. In Game 2 of the National League Championship Series against the Atlanta Braves, Gaetti belted a grand slam. Oh, it was, at the time, it was just part of the game. I mean, you know, they had walked Brian Jordan to get to me, and Maddox is out there, and I'm... I'm still playing, I'm playing the game. I'm not playing this game over here. You know, if he's gonna throw it in there, I'm gonna hit it. You know, and that's exactly what happened. It's one of my, it's one of my mo more memorable moments. I mean, that was really, that was special there. The series lasted seven games, but the Braves defeated the Cardinals in front of their home crowd at Fulton County Stadium. You know, we just were sick of the tomahawk chop. And really, you know, they tried to, you know, play New York, New York, you know, the last game, and that was a little bit over the top. You know, so, I mean, they, that was part of it. They like to rub it in your face in Atlanta because they were so good for all those years, you know, and we really wanted to be the ones that knocked them off their high horse. And they knew, they knew we had them. I mean, they knew it, you know. Traded from St. Louis during the 1998 season, he played a season and a half for the Chicago Cubs. After playing in only five games for the Boston Red Sox in 2000, Gaetti made the decision to retire. You know what, I had a, I'd had my knee operated on for the second time. I'm 43 years old. I go to spring training with the Sox and had a good spring and toward the end of spring training, I could feel it coming on. You know, my knee started bothering me again. My elbow was bothering me. I had no idea what that was all about. And truthfully, I really, the struggles, it might have been different had I got to play a little bit. I, was, I DH'd the first game and um, didn't really get to play in the field and I thought there was a couple of opportunities where Jimmy could have played me and didn't really play me and and uh, I, I guess I could say I was fairly kind of depressed about you know just do I want to go through the struggle again even though I'm not feeling physically that great and you know trying to find an apartment and you know, it was kind of cold in Boston, and you know, I'd never seen my son play high school baseball, you know, and just a lot of things were just kind of adding up, but yet it took me a long time to sign the papers that night. In 2003, Gary Gaetti was inducted into the M Club, Northwest Athletic Hall of Fame. Reporting for the Northwest Missourian and NWMissouriNews.com, I'm Dominic Janetti.